Local sports from KYMA News 11. In anything you do, you always want to better yourself. You always want to better yourself. You want to better your, the, the program that you're working with. You want to better the kids that you're working with. I felt I wanted a new challenge. I wanted something else to, you know, um, challenge myself. And, you know, you're not just in charge of one sport. You're in charge of, you know, 12 or 13 sports. So, you know, just the challenge was what kind of excited me. A state championship coach joins Yuma Catholic Athletics. Welcome back, everyone. The Shamrocks hire former Yuma Criminals head wrestling coach Jeff Welsing as the program's brand new athletic director. Now, Welsing had applied for the position back in late May upon the impending retirement of current Rocks AD Louis Paisano. YC announced a hire earlier this week. Welsing brings with him two decades of coaching experience at the Yuma Union High School District, most notably with Criminals Wrestling where he led the varsity program to two state titles in 2018 and earlier this year before the start of the current pandemic. News 11 Sports caught up with Welsing earlier today who shared his three-tier approach for developing prep student athletes. The first component is school and school is, is academics. You have to be a good guy in school and you have to take care of your academics first and foremost. And then that leads into the second phase, which is athletics. You know, when you, after school's done, you come out here in the athletic field, you want to be a good guy, you know, showing up for practice, committing yourself, dedicating yourself, work ethic, all those different types of things. And that'll lead you to success in athletics. And then the third phase is, is you want to be a good guy at home because you know, when you're with your family, you're out in your community, you're representing not only yourself, your family, but you're also representing the program, the high school. Besides coaching, Welsing is experienced as an athletic director at the junior high level at Summerton Middle School. And former U of A Wildcat, future NFL Hall of Famer, multiple Super Bowl champion, and Buccaneers tight end Rob Gronkowski is helping to save the day for a Tampa Bay Area high school. After he heard about a fire at Blake High School allegedly set by a juvenile that destroyed the school's football equipment, Gronk and the Bucks are stepping in. Gronkowski made the announcement that his foundation and the Bucks are joining forces to replace the storage building and all the football equipment the school lost. Hey everyone, last week we heard about an unfortunate incident in Tampa where a fire burned down a high school storage shed full of their team's football equipment. Sadly, they lost it all. Well, the Gronk Nation Youth Foundation and my new team, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, are all about helping youth reach their full potential. So we're going to do just that. To the Blake High School Yellow Jackets, you're getting a brand new storage unit and new football equipment to replace everything that was lost, courtesy of our foundation and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Foundation. So keep working hard this summer, stay active, and stay healthy, and my new teammates and I are looking forward to seeing you soon. And finally, the NFL had its draft during the pandemic, and now Major League Baseball is following suit. This year's draft is only five rounds instead of 40, which will have a lot of talented players as free agents. With the first overall pick, the Detroit Tigers take ASU Spencer Torkelson, who's the first baseman the Tigers want to move to third. No pure first baseman has been selected number one overall since Adrian Gonzalez 20 years back. The man called the Torque has plenty of torque in his swing. He hit a total of 48 home runs in his freshman and sophomore seasons. The draft will resume tomorrow. With that being said, we're done with this round of sports. We have more coming up right after this.